City Mayor Sly James learned at an early age the connection between public transportation and access to opportunities. I recognized the value of transportation when I was in high school, having to get from 44th and Montgomery to get out to Bishop Hogan High School at 63rd uh, Meyer and Truce. And I sure as heck wasn't going to walk it every day. So I'd take the uh, prospect bus over, and then if I was lucky, I'd get the 63rd Street bus. If not, from, if not I'd walk from there over to, to school. And I did that every day uh, for four years of, while I was in high school. But it's absolutely vital. It's always been vital. Even when I came back from college and I was riding the bus to get from Rockhurst College over to 39th and Rainbow, where I worked at Rainbow Mental Health. Um, I needed to bus from Truce to 39th and from 39th over to Rainbow Boulevard in order to get to work. So for me in my life, it's always been an absolute need. Um, it was a need here, even when I was in law school in Minneapolis, I used public transit there. Public transit is something that holds cities together and allows people without means or even with means to be able to move around the city and that movement creates economic activity. And in 2007, long before he was mayor, he stepped up to co-chair the 3.8 cent sales tax renewal campaign for public transit. It passed with 65% support. His advocacy, leadership, and unwavering support led to the successful launch of Kansas City's first streetcar in 50 years, generating ridership far beyond expectations. I think regional connectivity through transit is absolutely vital. We're a very spread out area. Uh, we have people that live in close proximity to downtown Kansas City, and it would be more helpful if we could make sure that the entire area is connected by a transit system that will efficiently move people from the furthest parts of southern Johnson County into the heart of Kansas City, or up past the, uh, the airport, or out east past Blue Springs. We need to combine all of that transit in order to keep people moving. The whole idea of transit is to have people moving from one place to the other. The more efficient and greater our connectivity is, the more people move. The more people move, the greater the activity. The more activity, the greater the economic impact, the more jobs that are being created, and the healthier, from an economic standpoint, this entire region is. His commitment to transit continues today. Well, streetcar helps because it has brought uh, uh, a lot of economic activity to the area, 58% higher sales taxes in the TDD uh, collected versus 16% across the rest of the city. That's extremely important. That proves that there's economic activity that's followed streetcar and rail transit and the density that's being built around it downtown. Kansas City Mayor Sly James has been a true champion of transit. Mayor Sly is a catalytic leader. I mean, he is driven about Kansas City. And when you combine that with his interest in personally engaging, whether that's you see him on the street or in social media, it's an amazing mix, you know, that we're, he's moving the city forward, he's engaging all of us personally in doing so. And that energy and drive and his belief in Kansas City and the people in Kansas City, I think it's just shine through. The city still has a huge dividing line, still segregated, and we need to stop it. And one way to do that is to bring people together through transit and allow people to move in and out of neighborhoods that they ordinarily wouldn't be able to move. So as those are the basic core things, and as we do that and the demand grows and the need for more multimodal transportation grows, then we can use our, our KCATA bus service and other forms of transportation provided along with streetcar along with walkable areas to really get this city moving and tie it together.